Martin Denny, Martin Denny, April 10, 1911, March 2, 2005, was an American pianist and composer best known as the father of Exotica. In a long career that saw him performing well into the 1980s, he toured the world popularizing his brand of lounge music, which included exotic percussion, imaginative rearrangements of popular songs, and original songs that celebrated tiki culture. Biography Denny was born in New York City and raised in Los Angeles. He studied classical piano and toured South America for four and a half years in the 1930s with the Don Dean Orchestra. This tour began Denny's fascination with Latin rhythms. Denny collected a large number of ethnic instruments from all over the world, which he used to spice up his stage performances. After serving in the United States Army Air Forces in World War Roman II, Denny returned to Los Angeles in 1945 where he studied piano and composition under Dr. Wesley La Violette and orchestration under Arthur Lange at the Los Angeles Conservatory of Music. He later studied at the University of Southern California. In January 1954, Don the Beach Comer brought Denny to Honolulu for a two-week engagement. He stayed to form his own combo in 1955, performing under contract at the Shell Bar in the Hawaiian village on Oahu and soon signing to Liberty Records. The original combo consisted of Augie Colon on percussion and bird calls, Arthur Lyman on vibes, John Kramer on string bass, and Denny on piano. Lyman soon left to form his own group and future Herb Alpert Seidman and Baja Marimba band founder Julius Wechter replaced him. Harvey Ragsdale later replaced Kramer. We traveled a lot on the mainland, but we came back every 12 weeks because the guys had their families here in Hawaii, recalled Denny. In 1955, the musician met his future wife, June, and married her the following year. His daughter, Christina, was born a few years later. I love the lifestyle, and my career was built here, said Denny. Denny described the music his combo played as window dressing, a background. He built a collection of strange and exotic instruments with the help of several airline friends. They would bring Denny back these instruments, and he would build arrangements around them. His music was a combination of ethnic styles, South Pacific, the Orient, and Latin rhythms. During an engagement at the Shell Bar, Denny discovered what would become his trademark and the birth of Exotica. The bar had a very exotic setting, a little pool of water right outside the bandstand, rocks and palm trees growing around, very quiet and relaxed. As the group played at night, Denny became aware of bullfrogs croaking. The croaking blended with the music, and when the band stopped, so did the frogs. He thought it was a coincidence at first, but when he tried the tune again later, the same thing happened. This time, his bandmates began doing all sorts of tropical bird calls as a gag. The band thought it nothing more than a joke. The next day, someone approached Denny and asked if he would do the arrangement with the birds and frogs. He agreed. At rehearsal, he had the band do a quiet village with each doing a bird call spaced apart. Denny did the frog part on a grooved cylinder, and the whole thing became incorporated into the arrangement of Quiet Village. It sold more than one million copies, and was awarded a gold disc. The album jacket was an influential factor guiding the fantasy of Denny's music. Denny's first dozen albums featured model Sandy Warner on the cover. Art designers always changed her looks to fit the mood of the package. For instance, we called one album with an African sound aphrodisia, and Sandy dyed her hair blonde for the photo session. She's seen against a background of colorful African masks. When we did Hypnotique, which is surrealistic, she had dark hair. For Primitiva, she was photographed standing waist-deep in water. The Exotica album was recorded in December 1956 and released in 1957. In 1958, Dick Clark hosted Denny on American Bandstand. Quiet Village reached hash two on billboards, charts in 1959, with the Exotica album reaching hash one. He rode the charts of Castbox and Variety also. 
Denny had as many as three or four albums on the charts simultaneously during his career. He had national hits with A Taste of Honey, The Enchanted Sea, and Ebb Tide. Denny died in Honolulu on March 2, 2005, aged 93. Following a private memorial service, his ashes were scattered at sea. Legacy His combo spawned two successful offshoots, Julius Wetcher of Tijuana Brass and Baja Marimba Band fame, and Exotica Vivist Arthur Lyman. Denny's Firecracker is well known in Japan as the number which inspired Haruomi Hosono to establish Yellow Magic Orchestra. A cover of the song appears on the band's eponymous debut album and was released as a single to promote it, charting at number 60 on the Billboard Hot 100 and No. 18 on the Billboard R&B Singles Charts. Former Psychic TV member Fred Janelli released an album in 1991 entitled Fred. The second track on that album is Mr. Denny, an instrumental tribute to Martin Denny that features excerpts of an interview with him. Denny's recordings are prominently featured in the 1999 film Breakfast of Champions, based on the Kurt Vonnegut novel. This is primarily because the car dealership featured in the film is having a Hawaiian-based promotion. Denny's music is a recurring theme in the Sandman Slim series of fantasy novels by Richard Cadry, where his music is always playing on the jukebox in the Bamboo House of Dolls, Les Only Punk Tiki Bar. Discography Studio Albums Compilations and Reissues The Best of Martin Denny Liberty LX-5502-1961 Compilation The Very Best of Martin Denny United Artists UALA 383 1975 Compilation The Exotic Sounds The Very Best of Martin Denny EMI Manhattan Japan CP 32-5000 657 1989 compilation. Paradise Pair PC D 2 1000 267 1990 compilation. Exotica, Sotica, The Best of Martin Denny, Rhino R 2 70 774 1990 compilation. The Exotic Sounds of Martin Denny, Capital 1990 compilation. Enchanted Islands. Some special products S21 minus 56,638 1993 compilation. Quiet Village, The Exotic Sounds of Martin Denny, Curb D2 minus 77,685 1994 compilation. Exotic Move Martin Denny slash Move Rock Les Baxter, Electronic Vanguard EV minus 906 minus 2 1995 bootleg reissue. Aphrodisia Scamp 9702-1995 Reissue Bachelor in Paradise, The Best of Martin Denny Pair 1996 Compilation Exotica Slash Exotica Vol Roman II Scamp 9712-1996 Reissue Forbidden Island Slash Primitiva Scamp 9713-1996 Reissue Hypnotique slash Exotica Roman 3 Scamp 9000 Quiet Village slash Enchanted Sea Scamp 9715-1997 Reissue Baked Alaska Collector's Choice Music CC M-393-2-2003 Live in 1964 The Exotic Sounds of Martin Denny Rev Ola 2004 Compilation Exotica, Rev. Ola 2005 Reissue. Exotica Vol. 2, Rev. Ola 2005 Reissue. Hypnotique, Rev. Ola 2005 Reissue. Primitiva, Rev. Ola 2005 Reissue. Forbidden Island, Rev. Ola 2006 Reissue. Quiet Village, Rev. Ola 2006 Reissue. Exotica Roman 3. Revola 2006 reissue. Aphrodisia, Revola 2006 reissue. Latin Village, Shiba EMI Japan 2006 reissue. The Best of Martin Denny's Exotica, Capital 2006 compilation. Hypnotique, Vivid Sound Japan 2007 reissue. Hypnotique, Hallmark 2015 reissue. Non Sandy Warner cover, Warner cover, Warner cover.
Sandy Warner cover or 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 cover or